So the project set up here, and I've already got some narration that I recorded. But I messed up a line right here. Let's hear it. And we need to move that track to the left like this. I meant to say to the right, and I said to the left. And we need to move that track to the left like this. So what I could do is delete it and just record it right in that spot. To the right. But as you can see, I recorded too long, erasing the next line. And sometimes I want to say it a few times to get it right. To the right, to the right, to the right. And you can see it keeps going and erasing all the good pieces I want to save. So there's a few ways to get around this. We can move these items over using ripple editing like this, making more room to record in here, but that puts the items at a time. And for this, the timing is very important as it locks to video. So it needs to stay in sync. What we could also do is go to the end of the project and just record it over here and then paste it back when we're done. But that's a bit awkward and it's also harder to punch in. As I want to bring in the line before right here and we need to move that track to the left to make sure it fits with the same tone. We could also put it on a separate track, on this one or this one. Then I have to move all the input effects that I have on this track right here to this track and the track effects as well. I have to take this track out of record and mute it, put this track into record. It's kind of a pain. A much quicker way to do this with less moves is to use lanes. So what I'm going to do is right click on the track and choose fixed item lanes. So now we can have multiple lanes on this one track. We could right click. We can go down here and insert a lane above or below. We could choose either one, but let's choose below. Now we have an extra lane down here. We could solo this one instead and just start recording. To the right, to the right, to the right. And if I'm happy with it, I can clean it up on this lane Line it up to this lane by viewing both lanes, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and click both solo buttons so I could line this up and just replace it like this. And we need to move that track to the right like this. And we could also do this by punching in and listening to the last line before. We can move this line down here by duplicating it, control on the PC, command on the Mac, drag it down here. So this lane instead, and just punch in after this line. And we need to move that track to the right, to the right, to the right. Let's say I liked the second one. Just trim it, line it up with this one. So the timing is the same and just replace it. Now we're just gonna hear this lane and we need to move that track to the right like this. Perfect. And we're done. We could delete this lane and turn off fixed item lanes. And we're back to working and editing our narration. And we need to move that track to the right like this. We need to change it again. Just switch it to fixed item lanes. Add a new lane and just record it down here. To the right, to the left, to the right. If we're happy with it, drag it over and replace it just like this. And we need to move that track to the left like this. And again, just delete this one. Take the track at a fixed item lanes and we're back to where we started before. And we need to move that track to the left like this. It just keeps this track in sync instead of using ripple editing and changing their timing without recording to a separate track or at the end, or trying to punch within this given area. To the right, to the right, as it erases the other items on our track. So that's pretty much it. 
That's punching in to narration in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Oh!